we're going to make protein cookies. This is Dr. Ann's own little recipe for protein cookies. These are truly delicious. Quick to make, another fast food for all you busy executives out there. And all you need is to make it a little bit ahead of time, a little pre-preparation. So what we do is we go to the store and we ask for the bananas that they can't sell or that they're about to throw out. And sometimes they'll give them to you free. Sometimes you can get them for 19 cents or 4 cents a pound or 10 cents a pound. So we put our bananas in the blender. This is another quick blender meal, except we will be using a food dehydrator along with this. Um, so we take the old bananas and we put them. Now the other thing you could do with these old bananas is you can freeze them and if you own a champion juicer, it makes great banana ice cream. Now once again we use our Rejuvelac. We fill it up to moisten it. And the other little pre-preparation that we did was we took sunflower seeds. Now, I don't know if you, in the other tape, we had sunflower seeds that were planted in dirt and sprouted, uh, greens. Now, this time we took sunflower seeds and we just soaked them for four hours in a regular jar by nylon screening with a rubber band on top. And these are great for just doing all your sprouting in general if you don't have the little sprout bags. So we rinse these out. This is so simple, and these are so delicious. Okay, and we take some of the sunflower seeds and we pour them into with the bananas. And now we're going to start to blend these. Remember, these are truly raw food. mixing it up a little bit so it gets thicker and thicker and add more bananas to that we want a creamy consistency almost like a pancake dough for this so we'll add more bananas add more sunflower seeds oops and we'll blend those keep mixing it. Now you could add um, some um, soaked almonds to this to add a little different flavor to it or sesame milk. We're going to add just a little bit firmer banana here. Thicken it up a little bit more. These bananas are great. They're so sweet. The reason you want them nice and uh, overripe like this is because it really gives a sweet flavor. The dehydrator enhances, intensifies all the flavors, so the sweetness really comes through. We'll add more sunflower. Remember, none of this is an exacting science. Please don't be inhibited. Just kind of experiment and throw things in and keep trying. And These are just general ideas. Okay, we need to mix that up a little bit. It's really getting full here. strain the motor too much but you see now it's really starting to take we want to get it just a little bit smoother than that you can always taste it to see how it's going mmm god is that sweet you know what I think we might do here because we didn't do any measuring we're gonna pour half of this into another container and make a double batch again like we've done with some of our other recipes so we'll just take a bowl here and We'll pour out half of it. 
so we can because we really do want it to be smooth and creamy so now we've got a double batch we can even put this in the refrigerator for later it will turn a little bit dark but then we've just got dark cookies that's all so we'll add more sunflower seed to this you just think of all that protein you're getting in there and all that potassium from the bananas and this is a cute little quick pick-me-up in the middle of the afternoon getting nice and thick it's getting that pancakey see that almost pancake waffle consistency that's what we want so remember I goofed in the beginning you, you know you just kind of experiment and play around with it don't be frightened about it because it's going to be delicious just about no matter what you do just plain sunflower seeds and real ripe bananas strain the motor too much but I think that's just about ready I'm gonna run it one more time and then we'll just okay see mm. okay you ready now then we have our sheets there are many types of dehydrators the kind that I have has the plain sheets for when you just put vegetables on or you can cut and quarter your bananas and put them on like that and they make great little snacks or you can put watermelon on there we have a few of those made we can show you and then we just take the little protein cookie and we put them on the, like a cookie sheet kind of spray space them because they're going to spread get a little one over there just like your um, conventional drop sugar cookies or there you go so we'll get nine of them in here the other thing you can do is you can just spread the whole thing out and make one sheet and cut them later and these are our protein nuggets beforehand now we made the little individual nuggets the other thing you can do is just spread the whole thing out on a sheet and then cut them later that's just an alternate way if you don't want to make all the individual cookies and you're going to put this in your dehydrator at about 120 degrees for two days and then you can take them and you can put them in Ziploc baggies and put them in your refrigerator and they will last all year long. They're great for traveling, to give to children as snacks. When you're out in the car and you want a quick pick-me-up and you don't want to run for, for the conventional foods you used to run for, a Hershey bar, you'll, want run for one, you'll run for one of your protein nuggets. And this is the way the sheet looks. These are some of the uh, bananas we did earlier and these are some of the dried apples and this uh, what's left of it is the watermelon and believe me your kids will love this this is like candy so i really think it's worth everybody to make the in, um, investment of a food dehydrator there's just so many wonderful things especially in the summer when you have your farmer's market you can buy all kinds of vegetables fruits and vegetables and dehydrate them um, eat them later in the year. These are better than in the store. They're delicious. <laughs>